Well, the first ever deer management plan in Minnesota is taking shape through public input. The Minnesota DNR is holding public meetings around the state for feedback on the plan. Mel Meyer has more on tonight's meeting from Bemidji. And really appreciate all of you coming to this meeting tonight. The topic areas, goals, and subtopics have already been drafted up. Uh, when you look at deer management in the state, what do you see that's going well? What do you see that's not going well? What's missing or what should be added? But the deer plan uh, committee members are hoping that attendees will be able to identify and suggest any they may have missed. And this is really an opportunity to think big and think long term about, you know, how do we leave future generations uh, in a better place than what we are tonight. While the state has different population goals set for the 128 hunting permit areas, currently there is no bigger picture management plans. We have management plans for other wildlife species, and as much as deer hunting means to the state of Minnesota, it's always been a little puzzling why we don't have one. Doug Applegren says a plan would provide a sound, scientific way of managing deer herds. We just want to be able to have a sustainable deer herd and a sustainable harvest every year. Meeting attendees were split into smaller groups to brainstorm ideas about disease and population control, amongst other areas. We would hate the herd to go downhill where we don't know if it's safe to eat. There are so many different competing interests, it's difficult to, to uh, please everyone, so to speak. So we're hoping that people come out and, and talk with us. The DNR will be accepting public comments at these meetings and online on their website through March 5th. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The DNR hopes to have a second draft finished by the end of the year. A public commenting period would then be held before a final version is released. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.